please buckle in for our first story of the night because California's home insurance crisis took yet another turn today. The State Department of Insurance told insurance companies doing business in the state that if the fair plan which is the state's insurer of last resort, runs out of money paying out claims due to a disaster, then insurance companies and those they insure could be on the hook to help pay out those fair plan claims. So take a look. The number of people joining the fair plan has skyrocketed since 2019. The fair plan says what was just under 155,000 customers in September 2019 is now more than 408,000 in June of this year. The FAIR plan says these are the areas that have the most wildfire exposure under the FAIR plan and the areas that are in our region that the FAIR plan considers having the most risk includes Truckee, Grass Valley, and Nevada City. ABC 10's Becca Hobbegger explains what all of this could mean for anyone with a home insurance policy. The historic Nevada County gold mining town of Washington, nestled in the Tahoe National Forest, is among the area's hardest hit by the insurance crisis of affordability and availability. My homeowners, including liability, used to be like $1,300, and sure, it's going to go up. But I think now just my fair plan is close to five grand for my house. That's a huge amount of money, especially if you are fixed income, low income. Charity Jackson owns the Washington Hotel and has seen both her homeowners and commercial insurance for the hotel go from the regular market to the fair plan after getting non-renewed with increasingly unaffordable prices. It's going to continue to happen, which is it's scary. In the past four years, the number of fair plan policies has nearly tripled. Statewide, as of June, the fair plan's total exposure grew to nearly $393 billion. In 2018, it was just $50 billion, which led one lawmaker to ask the fair plan president earlier this year. How much cash on hand do you have? Surplus is about $200 million. Cash on hand is somewhere in the neighborhood of $700 million. So a tiny percentage of Right. of what your exposure is. At a hearing held by the California Assembly Insurance Committee back in March, Fair Plan President Victoria Roach said the Fair Plan had purchased about two and a half billion in reinsurance, essentially insurance for insurers, and why that's still not enough. If you look at the Paradise Fire that happened and you look at about 45 miles south of that area, if that burned today, that same fire footprint that fire map that happened in paradise if that burned today about 45 miles from there we would have over six billion dollars in losses flash forward to now the california department of insurance which regulates how much a company can charge customers says if the fair plan can't pay its claims it can ask for that money from insurance companies doing business in california which can then with the permission of the department of insurance turn around and recoup some or all of those costs from their policyholders the bad side is that there's the potential there's always the potential right the good side is now we know if you're with the fair plan, you do not have to worry about your claim being paid because there's all of this money that's going to come into it first. Insurance expert Carl Sussman says the Department of Insurance is working on solutions to the insurance crisis it plans on having in place by the end of the year with the hope of stabilizing the market, bringing more companies back to the state and taking some of the burden off the fair plan. And we know with all of these guidelines coming out that the carriers when they re-enter the market Fair plan business will be the first business they start taking. He hopes to see change sometime next year, while homeowners remain in an unstable insurance market for now. I mean, this is like people are can't afford to live. Becca Hobbecker, back at it again, our resident uh, homeowners insurance expert right here. And I do want to ask you, though, you know, talk about some of the plans that the insurance commissioner has to attract some of these companies back to our state, because this is something that's really been talked about. Yeah, I know these companies have been asking for these measures for years now. One, for example, would allow companies to use forward-looking so-called catastrophe modeling when applying for rate increases. Essentially, a computer algorithm that would allow them to better predict and price where wildfire risk is highest. Currently, companies can only use the past 20 years' worth of data in exchange for that tool, however. The department is requiring companies to write more policies in wildfire-prone areas, including taking people off the fair plan and back into the regular market. And, you know, Alex, even though the fair plan was created by the state, the pool of money is not from taxpayers. 
It's funded largely by the policies that it sells. Yep. Thank you, Becca, so much for that update. And I do want to mention that coming in October, we will have a lot more on the insurance crisis right here on To The Point. We have been speaking to homeowners across our region about how all of this has impacted them. And as this crisis continues, I've been sitting down with our local Congress members asking if anything is being done in Congress to address the insurance crisis. There are a lot of issues, even more viewpoints, and that is all coming to you right here on To The Point in October.